Gamers Nation, AJ Rich here, and yes, we're finally doing it. We're doing the all of the One Piece openings, and no, not just a few. We're doing all of them in one video. Yes, my longest video to date uh, outside of streaming. We are doing that today. Um, I a lot of people would ask, like, how have you not seen One Piece by this point? It's been out forever, and I had the choice between watching Naruto or One Piece to start out because there at, at the time I just had very limited time, and I chose Naruto instead and watched that and watched the entire thing uh, instead of One Piece, and then I just kind of forgot about it, and then the episodes kind of tacked on and. Yeah, I never got to it, but now at least I'm going to be able to finally react to the openings, um, all 22 of them. I know there's a lot, and there's a lot to handle, but we're going to go ahead and do that uh, now. I'm excited. But first off, this video is proudly sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Playing Raid is the most immersive experience you'll find on a smartphone, and it can only really be compared with the biggest PC and console titles. And the best part, it's free. With more than 200,000 reviews, Raid is almost a perfect score on the Play Store. The game is growing fast and check out this cool roadmap that they've published. A new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss. You might be able to find me in the game under the nickname AJ Rich. If you're quick enough, you can join my clan. As you can see, my favorite is definitely the heiress. I mean, come on, look at that bod. All of them are, well, not all of them, but most of them are female and all have pretty good bots. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special link, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, smash that like button, join Discord if you haven't joined Discord, and let's go ahead and start. Just a little note, uh, I did split this into uh, actual recordings just because I, I thought I was going to do this in parts, but I ended up just doing this as one video. So you're going to notice kind of uh, a couple different AJs in here. So you're going to get some past AJs. This is technically future AJ. So just a heads up, guys. All right, let's start. Oh. Wait, that's... Unfortunately, I don't get subtitles on this, so I don't know what they're saying, but it looks like there's some type of, like, bad pirate, or bad... Interesting. I guess this is, like, just an intro. Okay, so... I know that's the main character. That looks like he had some type of like, his arm just like went super far. This guy gives me Dragon Ball Z vibes, but I think it's a pretty old show. I think that's a fair assumption or a fair assessment. Even like the, the intro reminds me of DBZ. It looks like a pretty happy, main character though but yeah it was about pirates um a few characters right in the beginning here a lot of interesting drawings like you see how animated their faces are that was something i always noticed very animated faces uh so their part main character looks like part of maybe like a pirate crew. Um, I don't know if he's like the leader. Is he the leader of it or is is there like I don't know if like uh, from that I can't I I know that they're part of like pirate they're like pirates or he's joining like a pirate thing. Uh, but I don't know if he's like the leader or the um. Uh, what would be like the the captain? That that's how uh, pirate ships work. Uh, but it looks like this is uh, from the visuals. It looked like a show that's like you can go if you're uh, in the, if you're in the sea. That means you could go to a bunch of different countries or a bunch of different areas. Uh, one thing I did notice is like the way the faces are drawn. Like everything is super animated with this show. Very very animated. I like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, they're adding like a ton more characters. Is this intros for every single one of these? Uh, as long as people continue to pursue meaning of freedom? Hey, there's like intros on these.
One Piece. The music's not bad. The vi But they're still on the ship, it looks like. Same characters. I mean, we have at least one waifu there. The redhead. Though she kind of looked like Bulma right there with this screaming. <laughs> redheaded Bulma. Um, yeah, they're definitely centering on these characters. So it looks like a lot of the main characters. He definitely has some type of like stretchy ability. His arms like go super far. Um, it's shown some of those people a couple times. So maybe like another pirate team. Uh, possibly like his flag, maybe. It didn't really show much more. It was more of like kind of the same thing. Different song. The songs aren't bad. I, I like, I, I like the OST so far. Uh, I like the, the, uh, the opening songs, but, um, the, uh, the visually it was kind of the same. Uh, as the first one, it did uh, it did kind of focus more on the on the uh, main characters. It looked like um, that's all I can kind of guess from that. So I can always add them later. Looks like we're getting like we're getting like intros. Is there is that normal? Is there an intro for every single opening? Unfortunately, there's no uh, there's nothing on there. <laughs> Yep. Now we know for sure. Oh shoot! Another waifu. Black-haired one. At least that's what it looked like. But there it looks like they added a couple new characters. Kind of. What is that? Like a uh, deer thing? A deer creature? Looks like they they're adding more characters. This is a super long show, so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got to figure out what's, uh, it's going to be hard with 22 openings to find out what the best one is. This one's very chill, though. The song's very chill. Oh, there's the, uh, black-haired girl. So, two new characters so far, it looks like. That character looks like it's going to be funny, though. Are they trying to, like, explore? Are they, are they just exploring new lands? Or new, or they, is the show centered always on the boat? That's actually a good question. It, like, is this more of like they're always going to be on like a different island, or is it like, hey, we're living, uh, we're living on a boat, we get attacked on boats, pirate life, living on a boat, maybe getting attacked, or um, trying to uh, what's normal things pirates do, try to like uh, you know take over boats and get money and stuff. Um, I guess that would be maybe some uh, normal pirate tropes. Okay, no intro on this one. Are we done with the intros, I guess? Okay, ass. Okay, that's a, that's a good way to start uh, start the opening. Oh, okay, maybe this is an intro. They really start these... Okay, lots of new characters, or lots of characters. Maybe a, a few of them we've seen in the previous openings. Another kind of chill, kind of chill opening. Gives me some really positive vibes. This whole show is very positive, it seems like. I, that's the way I get it from. The main character is so cheery and happy. Um... But it looks like a very good mix of personalities just from their faces visually um looks like they are like i was thinking they're they do go on islands because they're on an island there um it's shown that red-headed guy quite a few times uh so it looks like maybe a, a lot of these characters are going to be shown more than a few times they're definitely discover discovering new areas. They're <laughs> that deer character is still there. 
Um, we've only seen like two waifu possibilities so far though, but not bad ones. Yeah, the, uh, it it kind of confirmed what I was thinking was uh, the uh, they're going to like they're going to different islands. They're not just staying on the boat. Uh, since the show's so long, I'm sure they explore a, a bunch of elements of uh, pirate life and and going to different islands and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I I like it so far. It looks like they really are centering. There is a lot of characters, but it looks like they're centering on like six or seven of them on all the openings. They've been mostly focusing on these characters, which is good. Uh, character driven shows are, are are very good. I like those. Um, so uh, and when you have that uh, that many episodes. Uh, you can get kind of lost. I do know when I watch like Naruto Bleach, you get like an absolute big entire list of characters and you kind of like lose sight of some of them when there's too many introduced. So we'll see how this uh, show works it. Good beginning so far. I'm really trying to pick my favorites. I did. I did like I like the chill, the chill songs, but this one's pretty good. I like how the vibes are very, f very similar within all these. I like this one so far, though. Definitely kind of just centering on the boat here. Um, let's see if we get any new introductions of characters. It's still, still same characters. Um, that guy kind of reminds me of, like Pinocchio or something with the nose, but like a, I don't know, a weird Pinocchio. <laughs> They're discovering islands. Definitely still centered on the same characters. I feel like we're gonna get to know them a lot. Oh, okay. An enemy. It looks like they're finally uh, showing some enemies here. Okay, that was a weird, that was a weird being. I feel like anything can happen with this show. Um, did that deer just get buffed out? Is that an ability? Okay. Yeah, look, he's not mini anymore. He got steroids or something? Or is it just like some type of transformation? That little deer chibi thing like turned into a uh, a big buffed out roided deer and uh, i'm guessing like there's like abilities because this is uh like feels like some type of fighting show so it's like they they possibly like as we've seen the main character has like these stretchy abilities maybe his ability uh, the deer's thing's ability is becoming like super buff uh we've seen one of the characters what was it the green haired character have swords uh sword fighter um yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what all these characters' abilities are. They're definitely still out in the middle of nowhere in the ocean. <laughs> feel like that's definitely centered on there. Lots of... You know what I notice about these characters? And not just the girls, but... Well, the girls especially. They got legs for days in the show. Extended legs. Lots of pirates... Looks like a like a lot of pirates. Yeah, that looks like the banner for them. They've shown that banner a lot. Yeah, the characters are really tall, like the girls especially. Maybe that's just the way it's shown in this. Interesting. Um, Possibly like the world map. That's like their world map. I'm guessing it's huge. If you can get 900 episodes of a show. Okay. Looks like maybe this se maybe this season or the from this opening is more um, fight focused. Lots of fights it's showing here. Ein's lobby. Is a knees lobby. The songs. The songs are very, very similar, I will say, for a lot of these openings so far, though. The vibe, I get the same vibes. It's like the exact, like, intro is the first one. Oh, added voices. Interesting. So they're, like, re-putting their original opening, but maybe adding stuff. <laughs> but 
new um new voices. I wonder if they do that with any of the other openings. <laughs> I'm surprised they did it that way for the seventh opening. Oh, they're okay. There we go. They're showing more people. So it is different than the first one. It's actually flashing people. I wonder what that means for the show, though. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, I, I don't think I've seen a show do that. Um, remix the show, like remix the song in the same, like in an opening, like seven, you know, six openings later to opening seven. That was, yeah, that was very interesting. Uh, but I think I might even like that. Uh, re even with the added voice, it sounded, I, I guess it kind of just sounded like it should be there. It was nice. All right. Now we can tell it's away from the uh, the seventh one. Now it's not any original. I like how they're always so fun, though. Wait, is the the animation looked a little bit different there, or is it just me? Maybe it was just the way the boat was, or the ship. Sorry. Yep. I wonder if we're going to get uh, more character, like it's very focused on uh, the same characters for the last few openings. Not that they're bad. Definitely good characters, very unique. God, some beautiful women in this show. I will not get used to that at all. <laughs> the deer. Looks like they definitely get close, all part of the same group, and oh, some bad guys, possibly. Yep, it's shown him a lot. I wonder what, it's shown a few people a lot, but. I really feel like uh, the main character has like, it's crazy, he, he must have a ton of abilities. <laughs> These openings are a lot longer than I think any openings I'm used to. Is that a One Piece theme? Like, cause is that just centered to One Piece? Cause these things are really long. <laughs> Running away from dinosaurs. This world is so big. Great song too. Very uh, tropical. I yeah the uh, it looks like it's gonna be a long journey. I mean nine hundred and plus episodes right of this show like a ridiculous am ridiculous amount of episodes. Um, I think a good question is uh, is there a lot of filler in this show? That's what I was wondering. Is there like a truckload of filler or is it like you have to watch all the episodes? Um, or it could be like Naruto where you literally just like have to, you have to like skip, like there's so many filler episodes, like it's ridiculous if you don't skip some of them. Um, you can let me know that in the comments down below. All right, next one. Man, picking out a favorite out of all these is gonna be so difficult. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. Like, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. Remembering 22 is gonna be difficult. <laughs> there, this one is a little lower quality, but that's probably just because of where I got it from or whatever. That's, what the hell? Wait, there's a skeleton character? Uh, anything can happen in this show, huh? It's like, did the deer look more muscular? Did he get buffed up more? Is this a Dragon Ball Z scenario? Where he gets strong, buffer he gets stronger? Uh, <laughs> Technically, and then later on. <laughs> later on on DBZ, then that doesn't matter. I get kind of some of their personalities, kind of. Just, you can kind of tell from the way they interact. Oh man. Another theme of this show, characters galore. 
Jesus. Being able to tell, because they're pirates, being able to tell if they're bad guys or good guys, difficult. What is he, uh, attacking the boat or taking over the boat? Pillaging? <laughs> Definitely unique songs. Uh, is that a oh is that a new character? I don't recognize him from the other openings. Maybe they meet another person. Seems like they keep after every few openings they meet some new people and more people on his like ship or their ship. I it seems like we meet like a new person on every single uh well on every couple openings there's like a new people introduced but with a show that runs this long i would expect there to be like a ridiculous amount of people that we meet um so remembering them i'm sure it's probably difficult for you guys to remember all the names i mean that it's got to be crazy <laughs> all right opening 10. picking a favorite is going to be difficult another kind of blend of the first one at least song wise. They definitely do it differently when they're doing it though. One piece. The main character seems very like, like he doesn't, nothing much bothers him. He doesn't seem angry. He's always shown with this very, very cheesy smile. Might be just his personality. <laughs> That guy's got some something going on with his arms or he's got a medical condition. That's like Popeye syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're those characters I can't even describe. They go out there with some of these characters. <laughs> Maybe he's like recruiting. Is he recruiting people or just finding people on his journeys? Ah, another waifu possibility. This show seems pretty good uh, for, uh, it seems like a lot of women in this show for sure. I wonder how many remixes are of this, uh, of these openings, like of the first opening. This is the, what, the third one so far? They did it differently with the visuals, though. Uh, looks like they're going boss fight. Oh, that the skeleton. The skeleton from before. Is that like a main bad guy for maybe this season? Oh, God, that guy looked creepy. So many bad guys. Every pirate, I'm like... Bad guy, bad guy. Another similar theme. They show him so much. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, the, that's the one thing I'm noticing from him is just like that red-haired guy is shown, uh, I think, in almost every opening he's visually shown. Um, but I don't ever see him with the main character. So does it mean he's separate? Or, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Damn, okay. That looked like a top-tier waifu. I do not say that lightly. He recruiting people and getting in his group look at this the care the characters are like okay so that was uh that was opening 11 the characters just keep like stocking up more characters more characters um but they're it feels like he's like the skeleton guy was like the bad guy it's, it, it had seemed like for two openings uh at least it portrayed it that way and then he's suddenly on their team so maybe the main character has an affinity for getting bad guys to turn good possibly or just befriending people he seems friendly i mean that smile on his face he seems like a friendly guy um uh we're at a, about the halfway point um if you, I do have a Patreon, guys, patreon.com slash AJRich123. Feel free to check that out for full reactions and early releases. Um, if I ever react to this show, which I will at some point, but I just don't know how. There's so many episodes. Um, it would be uh, on Patreon. Uh, 
first and then go on over on YouTube. Uh, but I also react to um, uh, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Black Clover, JoJo, Ruby, a bunch of other shows. So feel free to check that out. Oh man, pirates in this world. Uh, that was, yeah, that was interesting. Um, looked like maybe the main character was like rescuing uh, somebody or them or whatever. Uh, it was all happy in the beginning. It's like, I feel like maybe this show is like, Tone, let's let's start happy and then let's get mad. Let's get like crazy. I don't know. I think that the whole show is just probably going to be crazy. If, if the visuals say anything, the show is crazy. <laughs> all right. 13. Yeah, it's it is the red haired guy, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's a different guy. This one now is definitely more sadder themed. The last one he's like rescuing somebody, so either he's still doing that or hmm. Doesn't seem anywhere near as happy as before. The tones changed completely. They're all like to themselves. Okay, or not. Or maybe that's how they used to be. I like this one. This one might be my favorite so far visually with the song okay maybe not maybe it's not the same guy I just showed the red-haired guy again i don't know why the the face looked some kind of makes me feel it's weird i think it's just the way the opening must be portrayed but it just looked like he was like separated from everybody and it was showing all these moments where they're like mad at each other or they're fighting or something. it's weird that's strange good opening though that's actually pretty probably pretty close to um opening 13 with uh music wise i think i still i'm still gonna go with 13 so far i think this is going to be hard. This is going to be tough. Oh, man. That's Those intros are so unique. Some of them don't show them and some of them they do, but it might just be my source. I don't know. Now it's showing them all grouped up together again. So it's definitely centered on those characters. It doesn't look like they got anybody new yet. They still have that flower thing in the front. <laughs> it looks like they fight well together though. I mean, I would think it's this many openings they've been on a journey for a while but time and animes are different so looks like they've met so many people to this point though i want to say the most characters i've seen on a show is that a fair assessment oh so the red-haired guy Knew him as a kid? Huh. Interesting. At least they're back in the same group. Or at least they're still continuing. <laughs> Do these characters ever age? Like, 
they see it, it's that's why probably i can't really tell the i mean i know there's a lot of animes no one ever ages i mean look at pokemon i mean ash regresses so i uh i don't know like i i guess i i can't really say that but it looks like it looks like they've been going on for a long time um but maybe it's just like like i said time is different and with these <laughs> all right opening 16 Oh man, back to happiness. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good old One Piece. One thing I cannot complain about like on this show at all is uh just like how unique the characters are. I can't say you're, you know, you got the same looking characters or the same type like all these characters are different. I mean, look at that guy. So different. And I mean, the whip, I cannot say enough about like the girls on the show. They're drawn so well. <laughs> what the heck are they facing there? What is that like? Toxic? People with gas masks. Looks like new new enemies. Lots of new enemies. Jesus. Slime thing about to throw up. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, he looks upgraded. Like that blue haired guy's a lot bigger now. Kind of just like that deer uh deer guy got bigger. Hmm. Oh, see, I keep thinking the opening's over and it's not. <laughs> it goes on like another, uh, like another length. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least the characters all stick together. That's, that is a cool thing about this show. Meet all these characters and they're in the same group. The, yeah, like. The, uh. I don't even know. Like, did he have a scar before? Is that new? Or am I just noticing that now? I probably, I'm probably just noticing that now, but it was just so plain and right in the middle there and it showed the scar. I, it seems like he just got it, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's always had it. That's, a, I, yeah. <laughs> They're all together still. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't realize how, like, big that boat, like, that ship is. It's so huge. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> Typical anime trope of walking in. <laughs> oh, the groups of people still. So many people. Oh, man. They're all still fighting as like a group. It's surprising this long, but they're all really unique and cool characters, though. God damn. Body. <laughs> Holy crap. Who is this guy? <laughs> it actually says lines in the opening? What the heck? <laughs> God damn. It really does seem like at least some time has passed by. I don't know. I mean, even he looks a little older, doesn't he? I don't know.
Oh, what the hell? Is over Holy shit, big tits. Okay. Uh, whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a lot going on there. That was a, that was a clusterfuck. Okay. Yeah, as usual, the boatload of characters. Um, I... I don't think it would even be possible for me to try to memorize like the all the people. There's just too many characters, like way, way too many characters to memorize. <laughs> oh man! Oh shit! Yeah, definitely there was. Definitely looks like there's been time passed. Everybody just looks facially older. Same group. At least he's still happy. <laughs> uh, they're all in the same group on the same ship. Or that ship. Going around the islands, the millions and trillions of islands it seems like there is in this world. God. Uh, it's like... Bathing suits 24-7. No complaints here. Good. Is there ever any bad weather in this show? Ever? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. Good song so far, too. Going with the variety of music we get in all these openings. Um... Possibly air. It's weird. I see it in the sea all the time, but it looks like airship as well. Maybe it it works as both now or something. Hmm. God damn. They all have like crazy abilities. Jesus. They seem to get like more and more. Powerful. Ugh. Jeez. Uh, they're possibly facing like a variety of enemies. Each one has different character, like at least a few characters I haven't seen. Uh, maybe the main bad guy right there for the uh, the season. Possibly. Oh man. Make my day. And that's. Wow. I swear that guy with the blue hair just keeps getting bigger every opening. Like, like roided out more or like proportionately like askew, like different every time. <laughs> oh man. Uh, these. We're getting near the end, guys. Um,. Remember, uh, if you have uh, whatever your favorite opening, I'd love to know in the comments down below. Let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead. And... OP 19. 13 is still my favorite, I think. Okay. Now, where are they going on this adventure? I wonder what number episode we are on here. It's gotta be in the middle hundred or more. <laughs> it's gotta be so far. <laughs> oh man. Definitely. Oh, are they facing some type of... Okay. It seems different. Oh, is that the red-haired guy again? Definitely an age. It must have been age jump. Oh, it's the, it's the black-haired girl again. Top tier waifu. There's. I'm calling it. There's a time jump. Or at least they like gradually, like gradually went through time, or like had like time go. Not went through time, but like had time, you know. Some shows literally never go anywhere and they stay at the same time place, so. <laughs> okay, that's kind of epic. 
And the deer becomes another thing. I wonder how many transformations that thing has. Oh, man. So many fights. I feel like the fighting is going to be epic in this show. Just, just from these openings. What the heck? Animal people? More animal people? Yeah. Maybe a theme for this uh, part. What is that? A whale tree? A whale that turned into a tree? <laughs> that skeleton is all <laughs> that skeleton's always like shocked or afraid. His facial expressions are crazy. But really, all these characters in the show have like the most ridiculous but amazing facial expressions. Uh the artist is uh, talent. Ah damn. Holy shit, that's a big old lady. What a thing, whatever that was. Definitely the best one so far, for sure. Um, yeah, my favorite opening so far. What was that? Uh, opening 20? Okay. Opening 20 is definitely my favorite so far. Now that lady got pissed. Oh, man. So this is the most recent season, huh? Jeez. So 900-ish episodes in. Crazy. Uh, what I take away from this is probably the most waifu possibilities of almost any show I think I've seen. Obviously the main characters, but there's a lot of, so many characters in the, oh, that's a bunch of new characters. Wow, this one looks... Wait, where's the main character at? It's showing a lot of characters I don't recognize, like new characters or something, but... Oh, is that... Oh, there he is. I was like, is it not centering on them? What are they in old... Old Japan? Damn. He's got some battle scars now. So many enemies in this show. I, I don't even... I can't count. I can't count how many there is. <laughs> uh, those abilities look so awesome, though. Literally bites himself and expands his arm. Damn. Oh, shoot, we just binged... I did the first six earlier, uh, like last week, but I did seven through 22, almost in all in one sitting. I took a little break, but outside of that, I, wow, that's absolutely insane. Uh, that's a lot of openings to watch at one time. I did not realize that, but we got a great, we got great openings out of it. We got uh, my favorite opening 20 for sure. The music, the, the visuals, it was just above the rest in my opinion it was just like it just worked perfectly um there was a couple that i liked i liked 13 i believe i liked four as well um but yeah 20 just knocked it out of the park um that is my favorite what is your guys's favorite opening uh out of all of these let me know in the comments down below uh do you want me to react to this series at some point um do you care um uh yeah let it let me know all that stuff in the comments down below this was a great uh showcase of what the show is it shows like all uh, what this show is about like it shows like all, all these characters like intertwined staying the entire time I didn't expect that I didn't expect all the characters to be all like he started with a few he met like he meets a few in the first opening and then there's just a bunch of other like it seemed like every couple openings a new one and then they just stuck together and even on the last opening they're all together and they're all in these ships uh uh, yeah, on the ship and 
Ah, such a good show. I look, it looks awesome. It definitely is a show that I could do in the future. Um, but it's really going to be about interest. I'm going to have to know what you guys want. Um, I do have a lot of shows that I'm doing right now. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe, smash that like button, uh, join the discord. If you haven't joined discord, I do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash AJ rich one, two, three for full reactions, early releases, and a bunch of cool stuff. Feel free to check that out. Um, also I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash AJ rich, uh, Twitter, AJ rich one, two, three. And yeah, seriously, thank you for watching. I know this has been a grind. This is an insanely long video, probably outside of a stream, probably the longest video I've ever done. Uh, but we're going to do it all in one. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Uh, you guys have been great. And, um, if you guys want me to react to the endings, leave that in the comments down below as well. I mean, that's, that's going to be a ton, but if it's worth it, I'm definitely down to do it. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully you check out my stuff and uh, I'll see you guys next time.